hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nanny back again with another video i hope you guys are doing well today welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not new thank you so much for coming back before we start the video please make sure you like you subscribe and you share the video that would absolutely help my channel to grow and it will also help other people to find this content it's free okay everything i'm doing here is for free everything i'm sharing here is for free i'm not asking much the main thing i'm really asking is for you to subscribe for you to like and for you to share i'm not forcing you I'm just asking kindly. Failure in medical school. How to handle failure, what to do, what to look for, who to talk to and uh, honestly how to handle the whole situation of failing uh, exams as a medical student more than once. So in this video I'm going to cover a few points that I believe is going to help you to know how to navigate the seasons of your failure okay. I have my notes I'm going to try my best to follow my notes this time not like the last video. The first thing I'm going to talk about is that as a medical student we already have so much on our head we already there's already so much expectation you know people expect so much of you even you yourself you have already placed all of these unrealistic expectation on yourself just because you are in medical school maybe your professors and maybe people back home your parents your 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 uh, maybe your siblings you know we we put so much unrealistic expectations on ourselves sometimes and it's not healthy so that one that's one thing i need to clarify first so just because you got into medical school and this is your passion and this is something that you absolutely you know would love to study does not mean that you're not going to fail and failure is part of the journey guys understand that failure is part of your journey if you don't fail how do you know any better if you, if you don't fail how do you grow more if you don't make mistakes how do you learn uh, uh, better how do you you know it's in times of crisis that we often like readjust our lives and we reflect upon our choices and we reflect about the things that we've done you know it's uh, because of failure that you sometimes may start a business it's because of failing that you may st uh, sometimes take a uh, change your lifestyle like if you you never used to exercise you try to go to the gym you try to exercise and change your diet it's because of failure that people readjust their life so understand first of all that failure is absolutely normal failing is part of the journey you need to accept it first i know it hurts i know it's frustrating it's overwhelming it's like it, you feel very sad you feel like you don't know much you feel like you're dumb you feel like you you don't deserve to even be in medical school but honestly the first thing you need to accept once you fail an exam once that more than once or once accept that you fail <laughs> do not be the lulu okay and you think that oh this is nothing this is nothing i'm just gonna pass it the next time and then you go there again and you fail don't make that mistake okay you need to humble yourself when you fail humble yourself think about it reflect upon your failure it's normal to feel disappointed it's normal to fail fail an exam and it's normal your feelings are valid acknowledge the feelings are you feeling sad are you feeling frustrated are you feeling overwhelmed are you feeling like giving up are you feeling like you're dumb or are you feeling like uh, you can't do this acknowledge the presence of those feelings in your life but do not let them determine who you are do not let your failure be the reason why you stop or you quit do not be do not let failure be the reason why you have not tried again okay so just because you fail your failure does not determine who you are you have to accept it okay you have to be uh, at peace with failing okay you have to be happy you have to come to peace with failure you can be battling all of this failure all of these anxieties and you know feeling unmotivated and feeling like you don't know much when you actually know so much more do not let the enemy and by the enemy sorry i'm a christian by the enemy i mean s satan okay i mean satan do not let satan convince you that you are not worthy do not let him convince you that you, that you cannot pass this exam again do not let satan take over your feelings do, and another thing you need to understand when you you fail do not dwell into these emotions for long it is not good because even in the bible it says i don't know the, the exact chapter but it says that do not let the sun set on your anger don't let the sun set even on your disappointment don't let the sun set on your your sadness do not let the sun set on all of these negative feelings because this is what the enemy can use to basically keep you in the position that you are for a long time guys even if you fail you can absolutely pass again you can pass the next time focus on acknowledging that you feel that way cry if you need to cry vent if you need to vent and then let them go let those feelings go because do not dwell on it for too long okay. so the next point i have here is 
seek support you have to seek support from those around you do you have friends where you study do you have parents do you have uh, uh, sisters do you have a mentor that can uh, you can talk to once you fail an exam it may be one of the, hard the hardest thing for you especially if you've never failed before especially if it's your first time failing exams and especially if you've had this ego that has been going on for years and you think that you are invincible failing can sometimes distort a student completely honestly so that's what i'm saying like you need to absolutely seek support okay one thing one way you can seek support is by maybe talking to god like for example me sometimes i have to i, I just talk to god i'm like lord this happened to me today i'm like god this happened to me today i hope i'm just praying that next time it's not going to happen i like i talk to god about it i talk to my friends about it i talk to my sisters anyone that i feel comfortable talking about my failure to i talk to them about it and that is a therapeutic way to release the emotions to release the anger to release the hurt to release the disappointment because if you keep it in honestly it's going to just keep building up again and again again and again until one day it's gonna become a bomb i'm exaggerating but yeah you get what i mean and sometimes it's therapeutic when we let things go that's a way of you releasing it and letting it go don't isolate yourself just because you fail don't isolate yourself and feel like no one will understand people understand there are many people that are in your in the same situation that you are in so do not feel like you're alone do not feel like you can or you you cannot talk to anyone talk to your classmates about it talk to your friends about it you know because these people can help and they can reinstate that hope that you felt like was lost the next thing i'm going to come on is that you need to reflect on why did you fail okay Re Reflection is also very important because it gives you an idea what went wrong. What did I do that made me fail? How did I answer that question when the professor asked me? Uh, was I answering that question with confidence? Was I answering that question with fear and anxiety? How was I presenting my, my answers uh, to my professors? Did I start with definition? Did I then go on to talk about pathophysio? Did I then go on to talk about etiology? Did I go on to talk about diagnosis? Did I go on to talk about treatment? Complete Applications and differential diagnosis you know there are there's a standard of sometimes oral examination too guys the way in which you're pre you present one uh, professor told me about this in one of my exams I don't remember maybe in third year he was like uh, how you present your information also matters how you present even if you know it presentation is also important and I was so shocked when he told me that I was like oh I don't know I was just like blabbing my mouth left and right blah, blah, you know anyway the way in which you present your answers is also important okay so that's why I'm telling you guys you need to reflect so you know where you went wrong so you know that maybe I didn't cover this topic very well let me go ahead and cover that next time it's very important because you cannot just be like oh okay let me just start from A to, to Z again okay? there may be some topics that you already know very well there's no point you going over those topics and wasting time take that time and focus on something that you believe you were not good at that's what i'm saying reflect was your confidence in check was uh, uh was the information you provided enough if the information was not enough then you go ahead and you read that topic again you cover the things that you had missed so that next time if you get that topic you know that you can ace it okay, so now the next thing i'm going to talk about is that you need to set realistic expectation after failing do not make decisions in the midst of anger do not feel like uh, or in the midst of your disappointment you're like no nah, i'm gonna show that teacher i'm gonna show everyone that i am the best i'm gonna show everyone that i'm this i'm that oh that's what is coming to my mind as an example but and do not also dwell in the negative emotions like oh i cannot do this don't let anxiety drive your decision don't let fear drive your decision okay that's why i said before you need to release those emotions talk to friends you need to uh accept that those emotions are there so you can release them so that you do not take those emotions as the, your willpower to now study okay your peace you need to be at peace with the fact that you failed so that you can start on a clean sheet of paper That's why sometimes when you also go into your exam do not be boastful do not be boastful you need to humble yourself when you go in examinations and never go first <laughs> If you are in Bulgaria, Havana, and you are going for oral examinations, never go first unless the professor picks you to come and sit down and you do your oral exam first. Unless you also know every topic in the syllabus, unless you know them in and out, never go first. Unless they pick you and say, okay, come sit down, come sit down, let's have a chat. Then you go ahead, but do not volunteer because sometimes some students, they just volunteer and they go and these teachers, they're like, oh, you think you know things? And that's why they fail you when you study are you studying 
uh, 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 20 topics per day or are you studying just 10 a, a chunk of them and you are disciplined just because you failed and you you understood uh, maybe let's say 90 or 80 percent of the topic does not mean that okay you're going to remember everything when you go for your uh, retake that is going to be like let's say in two weeks or three weeks set realistic expectation where you cover the topics that were harder for you first and once you've covered those topics you go into the easier topics that's how you do it and you do it with discipline you don't take like you don't do the whole syllabus in one day try to do it bit by bit so that you know you're not overwhelmed by the amount of content that you have to go through the next thing i'm going to talk about is create a plan and self-care you have to create a plan on your routine on how you're going to now navigate your studying okay maybe the method you used before to study did not work maybe you need to readjust maybe you need to watch more videos maybe you need to uh, look for information in a book maybe you need to talk to friends maybe you need to talk to your professor to explain uh, something specific that you did not understand in your seminar okay or in your your in your lecture how are you going to navigate differently now what are the steps you're going to take to make sure that you pass your exam how do you study were you just copying back the notes or were you doing active recall were you doing repetition did you repeat the topic again and again maybe you need to repeat it more than three times maybe you need to change the routine that you've been studying have you just been studying at home and have you just been studying by your yourself maybe you need to study with friends with a friend with a group of friends inside your home maybe you need to go to the library maybe you need to go to the cafe to study like me sometimes okay so those are the ways that you can try and plan for success okay so that you don't fail your exams again uh, another thing i mentioned is self-care you need to understand that you need to care for yourself while you're in this situation when you fail you may stop eating or you might start overeating because you know people deal with stressful and uncomfortable situation differently some people might eat more some people might not even eat you know uh, so make sure you look after yourself okay because you fail does not mean that you need to punish yourself because you could be punishing yourself by not eating or you could be punishing yourself punishing your whole entire body or your whole entire system and your mind by eating more by overeating so you need to be aware of those things make a nutritious meal go out with your friends do not stop your life just because you fail an exam do not uh, 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 restrict yourself just because you fail an exam do not put your life on hold just because you failed an exam you need to be strategic with everything guys another amazing thing which i found helpful is going to the gym exercising you don't even have to go to the gym you can exercise at home you can use any one's video i like her videos working out is such a good way to de-stress guys so next and the final thing i'm going to talk about guys is stay persistent okay stay persistent in your studies consistency 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 okay do not let one failure two failure three failure or however many failures you've had define the journey of your life work towards your goal even if you've just done one topic one day and you feel like you've not done much trust me keep going eventually you are going to see that it's going to pay off if you guys learned something please leave me a comment down below how do you handle your failure what do you do different how do you get back up please let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye